people have tried to cancel Attila many times over the years, but you have always walked away without a scratch, which to me is kind of amazing because I feel like pretty much everybody in the scene has been canceled at some point or another. Oh yeah. What's your secret? I don't think there's any secret. I think what it comes down to is um, anyone that read anything about me or us knows that it's very clearly false and made up. And also from my perspective, it's just one of those things where so many people already hated me and Attila anyways. So the only people that were really barking and being like, fuck Franz, whatever, they already hated me to begin with. Yes. They never went to a concert. They never bought a t-shirt. They never supported me or Attila to begin with. So it really just didn't matter because Attila's used to so much hate that what's more hate? It's just people will say anything and make up anything yep. about people they hate. So yep. it just doesn't matter. And I guess maybe we're just more well conditioned for it. And these people only have power if you give them power. Like if you want their approval and start groveling and apologizing and trying to make them like you, that's when they dig in deeper and they're never going to like you. Oh, yeah. It's the same. It's the same thing that, you know. My parents used to tell me when I was young, like if there's someone picking on you constantly, if you show them attention or show them that it affects you, they're going to keep doing it. But if you just ignore any negativity and hate, it just goes away. I've really felt this in the past year or two, I guess, because, you know, I've gotten, you know, big enough that I feel like there's a certain point that like once you start getting successful enough, the default opinion starts to flip where like, it, they they liked you when you were small and then when you get bigger it flips and the default opinion is they hate you and you know there's been weeks where there's like three threads about me on reddit you know with hundreds of replies about what a horrible person i am and i how i believe this and that and everyone hates blah 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 and at first it kind of stressed me out and like upset me and then i realized it makes no fucking difference to like how many views I get and how much money I make. And nobody gives a shit what these people think other than the other people in their little fucking echo chamber where they smell each other's farts. Nobody else gives a fuck. No. And I think that's something I also have to remind like friends of mine or like other people in the industry that are worried about stuff. I'm just like, look, the people that are talking bad on Twitter, the people that have the loudest mouths represent the smallest percentage of people yes. because the people that actually support you and fuck with you, they're not tweeting you every day talking about how much they fuck with you. They they just yeah. show up to shows. They buy your ticket, right. shut up. They shut up, buy your ticket, come to your shows, have a good time, buy a shirt and go home. And it's it's the, the loudest mouth people represent the tiniest amount Absolutely. of real people. And I think anybody else, these are the people that are looking for the worst in everybody and everything, and they're going to take everything you say in the worst possible intentions. And I think anybody else can see, I mean, obviously you've said some things in songs that, you know, are a little bit edgy, but anybody can tell it's a fucking joke. Like, it's obvious. Yeah, exactly. And these people that are, uh, you know, trying to burn everyone at the stake are the same people that want, you know, prison reform. They want people to get better. And it's like, why don't you apply (laughs) that same logic? Because at the end of the day, all musicians are just regular human beings and everyone makes mistakes, no matter what kind of human you are or what profession you chose. So rather than I I just I think it's more of like a power trip, power hungry thing from from nobodies that don't have any limelight on them versus actually trying to help people. Because I think it would be more noble if people were, um, I guess, instead of trying to cancel people and hurt people's careers, if people would just be like, hey. Um, we, we think that you did something wrong and like, we want to see you get better, you know? Cause I think if, if it was something like that, I think a lot of these musicians out here would be like, be more willing to, um, hold themselves accountable and yeah. be like, you're right. Like, you know, I, I did make a mistake and I, I promise to be better and I'm going to, you know, make changes. And I think that's more of a positive, like uplifting building energy that would probably help out the community more. Well, they versus- don't want to help people. No, that's the they, thing. They just want to burn people at the stake. It's a power and- trip. That's all it is. It's a shakedown. That's what it is. They want. They want to see if if they can get Franz to grovel and beg for forgiveness. 